Guys, show FMers, it's me, FM Cheetah. You can call me Matt. And welcome to the next episode of Blood Oil and Football. Yes, welcome to the hateful eight. Still in eighth position, no matter what we do. An absolutely shocking run of form saw us drop to 11th. And then we managed to turn around with a 2-0 win at home to West Ham. Very rudimentary win. So 4-2 over Sheffield as after we left to uh, lose. Oh, sorry. No, let's, let's rewind. Here we are in the past. Anyway, so we went out of the FA Cup in the third round in the home game to Charlton. You saw, of course, a 0-0. Then it was a 1-1 and we lost on penalties. Yes, fantastic. We did manage to bounce back with a 4-2 win over Sheffield away. I think it's one of our few away wins. It may, in fact, be our only away win. Oh, no, there was, I think, Wolves as well. Then, horror. 1-0 away loss to Sheffield. Um, uh, sorry, a 1-0 away loss to Arsenal. That wasn't a horror. It was like a last-minute goal. Um, 80, well, there you go. 82nd-minute goal by Mesut Ozil. Uh, and we really didn't deserve to lose it. 2-0 at home to Leicester was bad. We were just awful. And then a 3-0 away win um, to uh, Manchester... Uh, sorry, a 3-0 away loss to Manchester United. Then there was a 3-0 away loss to Tottenham. That was particularly galling given their position on the table, which was well, well below us. That's changed, of course. Yes, here we are in the past of Rewound. Uh, yes, after the uh, nil-nil away draw with Charlton, we then, in the FA Cup, the replay, we then drew 1-1. We we're very lucky to draw 1-1, and then we lost on penalties. Followed by a nice 4-2 away win uh, at uh, United. We then went on a big losing streak. 1-0 loss uh, to Arsenal away. It was pretty good, but disappointing in the sense we lost that... A game in the 82nd minute to a Mesut um, you know, nothingness. Uh, what hurt more was the 2-0 home loss to Leicester, and we had a real opportunity to um, stay above them. But no, they caned us, and then we were hammered 3-0 um, away to Man United. Yeah, I mean, not great. Um, but the 3-0 away loss to Tottenham was particularly bad, given that they're below us, given they've got terrible form. I think, um, I don't know, the the Leicester loss and the Tottenham loss really hurt. I think maybe in both cases, we were too cautious. I think I think we needed to be more confident, particularly against Leicester. Tottenham just, you know, Harry Kane scored within like two or three minutes, I think, and that was it. However, our last game was 2-0 uh, home win against West Ham, should, given their bottom of the table. There has been some more transfer activity. Uh, Christopher, I, uh, apparently we, he and I had a deal that I would uh, boost the uh, starting squad. So I went out and spent truckloads of money. Unfortunately, two of those players were both on loan and they can't join us. First of all, uh, Bayern uh, midfielder on loan to Hamburg, Adrian Fine, uh, just a great creative uh, player, um, one, um, uh, you know, 20 years of age, plenty of growth to do. He may end up being the eye role and I may end up dropping back to that uh, ball playing defending position. Uh, we'll see. The other one, less of a big science, signing Sofian uh, Diop on loan uh, from Monaco to Sochaux. Uh, another sort of creative, uh, you know, French midfielder. Very good. We'll probably end up on loan next season anyway. We've also got a lot of youngsters, and you know, once we get to the end of the season, wherever we end up, there's going to be there's going to be a lot of questions about what we do with the squad and how um, um, you know who stays and who goes, whether permanently or out on loan. A couple of other signings, not uh, the big names. Uh, Umar Mbalo came in from uh, Benfica, I think. Yes, came in from Benfica. Left uh, left winger can can go on the right, cut inside on the right as well. Uh, Eighteen years of age, lots of flair. Um, you know, bit of pace. Again, will you know he will probably do some loan time, but nice to have someone else other than uh, you know Alan Sam Maximan in there. This is the guy we're going to grow over the years. We've got a lot of Portuguese players in the squad. We'll probably have half the under twenty three or under eighteen national team pretty soon. 
One of my fave signings, uh, Mateusz Bogus, the uh, Polish midfielder. Uh, on We signed him, then we loaned him back to Leeds, 18 years of age. You know, going to be outstanding. We'll probably, um, we'll, again, another one who will probably go out on loan. A lot of 18, 19 year olds, that's, that's what we want. We want them in for the future. And look, you know, worst comes to worst, we can grow them over a few years and I think make a lot of money. All these players have great potential. I wanted someone faster up front and I wasn't happening, uh, very happy with, um, well, obviously, Kutuchu has been injured uh, and um, Xerxes just hasn't been doing it. The American, Josh Sargent, in from Werder Bremen, 19 years of age, pressing forward. I'm training him as a, uh, oh, he's a uh, I'm training him as an advance forward. More pace, you know, we don't have a lot of pace and I want more of it. Again, 19 years of age, one for the future. I believe I signed him as a squad player though. Sure did, uh, but he's been playing in the under 23s. That's not the big signing though. This is the big signing. I don't know why. Dominic Livakovic. I'll tell you one thing, if you've been following Dr. Ben's mad, brilliant um, uh, glory hunter save, uh, Livakovic was his signing, I think from Dortmund from memory, but he, he was great there. Um, he, at least, you know, 25 years of age, he cost a fortune. He obviously upset Dubravka, who hasn't had a bad season. Um, but I, I thought, you know, I needed big players to keep uh, Aya happy. And is he happy? No, 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 no. Apparently none of that makes him happy. He is now, uh, his morale is now fairly poor. He is unhappy that this, we haven't strengthened the squad. And I told him to suck it up. So I don't know, maybe he'll go out and learn next season. Who knows? I mean, he's a brilliant player. But I hate these, I, you know, I must pay closer attention to these um, these promises that I make. It's happened before to like a classic one, you know, you sign someone and somewhere in that promise is, is the vice captaincy or something like that. Anyway, so he's currently unhappy. So we spent a lot of money. We have too many players in this squad. It's just absurd. Um, yeah, and it's causing us lots of grief, I think. Um, we're going to be, I mean, some of them are loans and they'll be going back. It's just absolute horror show, horror show. Anyway, the good news, I guess, is we're still late. Um, and we do, um, we, Everton do have a game on hand of us, even though they're two points. So um, realistic, I mean, if they lose their game and I'm not sure who they're playing, great. We can, we can let them go to 40. Uh, but um, Watford have a game in hand. Uh, as well, and if they win both their games, well, they'll leap us and we'll drop down to 9th or 10th. Uh, and then, of course, you can see Leicester on 35 points win all their games, and you know, suddenly they're on 44. So, a lot of teams can leap us, and we could quickly find ourselves back to 10th or 11th as we were prior to that West Ham win. So, all we can do is win this game. And this is the game at home to Wolves. We're favourites six to four, but 13, uh, 13 to eight uh, to Wolves isn't uh, terrible odds and two to one draw. Hmm. So the lineup, I am keeping uh, Livakovic in goal uh, as he's a sort of defensive sweeper keeper and that's how we're trying. Mankia will play on the right because um, he gets forward and that's okay when we're at home. I probably may have played Krath uh, um, simply because uh, he's a bit more defensively solid, but he got a cold. Komar and Lascelles are building that relationship in uh, defence uh, very, very well. Uh, and uh, Max Lowe on the left, who, as you can see, is still working on that relationship with Alisson Maximan, who is as, inconsistently, as inconsistent as ever. Across midfield, Hayden and Shelby in, in the heart of midfield, working closely together. Playing Yata on the right here. Why? Hmm. Um... Uh, Lazar hasn't been great and you know Yato is ours and he is really good he, he's got a terrible terrible yellow card habit because of his aggressiveness whatever we're going to persist with Donny van der Beek he, his game against West Ham was pretty solid and let's give him a chance um, to be the player we know he can be Gale up front did suffer some injuries while uh, during that uh, the break between the last two videos. So he's been out for quite a bit. He was out prior to the West Ham game. He's back in because he did score in that game. He does seem to score when he's not injured. So let's have a look at Wolves, who we beat away. Uh, was it 2-1, I believe it was? Still playing three at the back. Um, Traore in uh, at right back, eh? And, and Johnny 
uh, Moutinho and Neves in the midfield, Podence, Yota, Jimenez up front. All right, let's tell them to pick up where they are left off. Uh, and where are we? All the best to have fun. Recent form 12th. Let's give them a game. Whatever it isn't here. Uh, nothing specific. Let's go. Where is the... Where do we pick up where we left off? Well, let's give the fans something to cheer for. And of course, let's hand out the faith. No, they like the faith. The faith does well. Let's get into it. Not hugely interesting. I do. I still do the tunnels. I do it because I try and build the, the media thing and the relationship with the players. Uh, no, I'm not going to encourage short play. So we're playing positively. We are playing short play. We are closing down. Just quickly. Yeah, let's get a bit of goalkeeper closing down as well. Here we go. Here's a throw. Max Lau finds Van der Beek. Back to low. Low to Hayden. Hayden crosses in. Beautiful Gale header. This The guy just got, he scores and scores and scores and scores. Some, it's amazing. Oh, and also uh, the Swansea manager, uh, Martin O'Neill, um, was apparently sniffing around Gale. Well, I don't know. He's here. Contract's all 2021. Look at that. Good on you, Dwight. I mean, he just scores. Outstanding. Let's just check in case he was offside. Yep, what do you know? He wasn't offside. I mean, we know he wasn't offside. Anyway, we're a goal in, and they're kicking off. See, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about Alan Sir Max Man. So yeah, here we go. Uh oh, Potter's going inside. Ooh, saved by the post. Later, Hayden. Hayden comes forward, finds light right. Now Martinez has the ball, but Lascelles sees it. He's coming back. Don't mess around. Low back to Livakovic. Finds Lascelles over to Kumar. Do not get caught. Hayden to Shelby, Shelby to Vanderbeek, finds their Maximan, Fessor Maximan's coming in, he's going to shoot, he's going to shoot, he's going to shoot, yes! oh, and, oh, Dwight almost got on the end of that again, good, good, we're fighting, that's good, Vanderbeek in, Komar's on it, end of the highlight, yeah, so, I mean, Gail, who would have thought, you know, really didn't have any plans for him this season, and he's proved absolutely vital for us. Prudence is getting too much room. Um, Kovalenko is the other guy, of course. He has been injured as well between games, so we haven't been able to play him. Uh, I will, I might play him for the next game. We'll see. Anyway, Lascelles is on the board. Hayden. So Maxim Man is in. He's cutting in forward. I would love to see him score. Can he just score? He just apparently can't score. All right, half time, 1 0. Let's go in. Don't get complacent. Bam. Now, let's have a closer look here. Uh, you know, I mean, Jota's the only one who's not superb. Might move him up to attack a little bit, hey? It's not natural for him. And I do have a tendency, I do like to play players, you know, in the roles they're the most comfortable. I just feel that's the best chance. Um, but we're also at home and I'm all, you know, I would like to win this by more than 1-0. I don't think there's anything else we need to change. Let's get into it. It's a corner, so Maximum puts the ball in. Van der Beek's going to get it. Hopefully go back to some Maximum. No. Finds Komar. Don't stand on the ball, Komar. Mankia, Mankia, back to Livakovic. To Komar. Do not. My God. Just, yes, it's so irritating. I mean, you're going to get caught out and oh. and it happens anyway. And if said they get, oh, it just makes me so angry. Oh, Diogo's cutting in, he's cutting in. What was that? Shelby, disaster for Shelby. Why is it a disaster for Shelby? Let's have a closer look here. Diogo, Shelby, Shelby is coming in. Does he try and tackle him? He's running. He's just, oh, he misses the tackle. Right. Man. Okay. That does suck us a great deal. Demand more. Okay, let's have a quick look here across the board. Max Lowe, not having a great game. No, actually, neither of the uh, fullbacks are having great games, are they? Hmm. Why is that? Well, unfortunately, I don't, can't really do much about that. Uh, so looking closer to midfield, I mean, no one's terrible. 
got an idea. So we bring uh, Lazaro on for Saint Maximan, and then of course we swap him out with Jata. That's good, and he's going to be an inverted winger on support. Is that his best role, inverted winger? I think so. On support, there we go. Here we go, Manquillo. Back to Gale, crosses in, Shawlington's on it. Oh, I thought that was in. It wasn't. Come on. Good. Here we go. Shelby with the corner. Jolinton, to get in it. Yes. Okay, now drop back. I'm going to make sure. There we go. We're going to hold on to that position. Uh, yeah. Jolinton, a goal. I don't know how long it's been since he has had a goal, but it's been a while. Bam, gets above him. Yeah, good on you, Jolinton. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to not worry about the counter press. We're going to drop it down to balanced. And now we're going to slow it down just bit by bit by bit. We've done it. 2 1 away win. Uh, sorry, home win. It's all, well, it's a win. Uh, great. Well done. Let's just keep it simple and give them a well done. All right, so all we could do was win, and by winning, we do, at the moment, stay in seventh. Okay, Leicester did uh, win their game, but uh, I think do they, st they still have another game uh, which would put them ahead of us. Uh, fortunately for us, Liverpool did Everton, so that throws us above them. Any other good wins there for us? Not, not really. No. No, and uh, there'll obviously be other games to play. I'm guessing yeah, we'll still have two, yeah, two games. We've only put us in 36, so that's fine. Oh, wait. We play Norwich next. Hmm. The Sunday games also came to some help to us as uh, Sheffield United Crystal Palace drew 1-1, which kept Sheffield United off our tails. That's good. Arsenal 1-1 draw away to Aston Villa has hurt them. Um, geez, that's interesting, isn't it? How Arsenal has left uh, Man City. So Arsenal are gunning for Liverpool. But look, Liverpool have three games in hand. So, which means nine points, 81. Yeah, I mean, they've wrapped up the season, haven't they? You know, it's the 9th of February. I feel like no one's really going to get near them. Have they lost a game? So they lost, um, they have lost, they lost the Community Shield and they lost the European Super Cup to Chelsea. And they did lose in the Premier League, interestingly, away to Sheffield United. And they've lost once to Real Madrid, 2-0 away. No shame in that. That's it. One loss in the Premier League and not a, sing uh, not a single draw in the Premier League. Not a single draw in the Premier League. Every game's been a win. That's why they're smashing it. Uh, yeah, wow. And we're back for the away game uh, to Norwich. Uh, let's have a quick look at positions on the table. So we're still in the magical eight position. Leicester did have, I think, it's, I think it was a surprise win over United. So they slipped ahead of us, but then Everton dropped below us. Of course, as we know, things stay as they are in essence. We, uh, Le but Leicester 26 games, we're 28 games, so they're going to, even if we win, um, uh, you know, against Norwich, they can slip ahead of us. The good thing is that both Norwich and, and us, we're, we're, uh, and we're both on 28 games, so a win here will propel us into sixth position. Well, it may not. It may depend on the other games. They're four to five favourites. They should be. They're ahead of us. We're three to one, um, and uh, there's a two to one for a draw. So it's tight. This is the squad that we've chosen. Uh, we've talked about this before in terms of the relationships. Hmm, Kraft not looking natural there. Why isn't he looking natural? Wing back defend. Wing back defend. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Sure, Linton, I will play better naturally as that. Um, uh, pressing forward just because I think it's a bit more important than uh, than the um, 
He, he doesn't hold the ball up. It's not a trait he has anyway. So let's make him a pressing forward. Oh, and Kovalenko is back, but he is a bit tired, so I'm not sure he'll last the whole 90 minutes. Uh, Norwich playing 4-2-3-1. Uh, so dressing room-wise, do it for the fans. Uh, let's avenge. Avenge! Avenge me! I could tell you that Lazaro, basically, everyone just hates him. But here we go. So we're playing a balanced uh, mentality. We're not counter-pressing. We are countering. Wide in midfield. We'll see how that goes. What do I want here? Well, I want a point, I guess. Uh, the chance of getting a win is unlikely giving our away form. But, you know, I'll, I'll go a point. They've got a corner. Duda fires it in. Puk is on it, but no. Uh, Buendia back to Duda. Could be closing him down. No. Back to Rup. Oh, no. Zimmerman can... can Come on. Let's get it. Let's get it off Aaron's. Let's come on. Get a bit forward. Gigi. No. Oh, it's found Buendia. Don't. Don't, don't. Oh, I knew he was going to do it. I knew he was going to do it. All right. Livakovic. Let's see how good you are. Ooh. I don't want to lose. I mean, he went the right way. Didn't make it. We'll see it in three dimensions in a moment. McLean fires in him. Oh, so close. So, so close. Quindia with a free kick. Oh, Lua Kovac comes out. I think that's a good sign. And we'll break. Come on. Yep. Come on. That's good. So Maximum's coming in. Shelby. Shelby sees the run of Yatta. Yatta. Crosses. Oof. So Maximum finds it. Crosses back in. Ooh, that was close. And yes, Yata's on a yellow card. We're not, I mean, we are doing shots and shots on target are pretty good. Okay, Aaron's. Kovalenko has taken a knock. Okay. So it looks like Kovalenko's going to need to come off. Yeah, I understand he's taken a knock. Let's, let's, let's play it first. Do not, do not. Oh, good save by Livakovic. So we do have uh, Bentelab as a straight replacement, which I think we will go. God, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Come on with a handball. No. Okay, Livakovic. Do it. Oh. Wow. Okay. Fine. What is going on in defense at the moment? Again, Livakovic does well. That's it. What is going on? All right, let's just get in. Disappointing, to say the least. Okay, and let's have a quick, let's have a quick look here. So Kovalenko has to come on. I'm bringing on um, Bentelab. We will counter press. What else is there to do here? Isaac Hayden is not having a great game. What the hell? What the hell? Let's just do it. Wait, let's let me can I give I'd like to give um I can't give him any oh here we go, here we go. No I can't. I can't give him an individual talk. Fine. Okay. No worries about that. Let's get into it. So we're going like for like. Oh they've broken. Oh good, okay, that's it. Don't both chase him. Jesus, get back in there. Come on. Uh, what about Anson Maximum? No, no. Ooh, lucky it was Todd Cantwell. Can we rescue something about this? Oh, no. Corner. Buendia. McLean. Wow. Really? Kenny McLean. He's a monster, apparently. Three goals, a hat trick. What is going on? What is the problem with our away form? What were you doing walking away off the line? I'm just so angry. Uh, what do I do? I bring on... Uh, I leave Jolinton on. I bring on Matt... Come on. I bring on Matt Ritchie for Shata. Inverted winger in attack. No, in support. 
we're just going to play a wide midfielder in support. There we go. Come on. Come on. 3 nil. Jeez. I think the highlights is playing. Who knows? Who knows here? Wow. One there. Pookie's on the ball. Shoots. Screamer scores. We are getting absolutely caned out here. How is this possible? How are we getting beaten so badly away? What is going on with our defense? I demand more. You guys have been freaking hopeless. Get in there. We're going attacking. That's it. Got to do it. What choice do we have? We might as well go down 5 0. My goodness, a 4 0 loss away to Norwich. All right, come on. Low. Finds Bentalab. Bentalab is dispelled. Low gets back on the ball. Bentalab. Don't faff about. Okay. Oh, Jolinton's on it. Oh, but he can't finish. What's the point? It's a loss. It's a terrible, terrible 4 0 away loss. Wow. I am not happy. That is just filth. Filth and filth. I mean, Livakovic, I mean, the, the defense is shocking. Look, 6'4", six 6'3", six just horrible, 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 horrible. Yeah, pretty much everyone. So Everton can leap us well and truly. Sheffield United can, well, they'll leap us. They'll leap us with a win because their goal difference will put them ahead. So we'll drop down to ninth. So I think we're going to drop down. Uh, what a horror show. What a freaking horror show. Okay. Season's almost over. What have we got coming up? End of the season game against who? who's important that we play here. So Everton are the only team in there that we're being threatened by. Possibly Southampton. But we're not coming back for that, are we? So I'm thinking we're going to come back for the end of the season. I think that's what we're going to do. So I think we're going to have a three game special and we're going to come back for Burnley, come back for Crystal Palace and come back for Everton. So thanks for joining me again. As we can see, Dwight Gold, six goal lead. Shelby uh, is the highest uh, rated player on average. Most assists only said maximum. Mm, okay, well, I guess so. Um, most player of the month award, John Joe. John Joe's won some player of the month award. That's nice. All right. Thank you again. Please drop a like if you love this video or liked it or pity me. Drop a like. Again, if you want to find out about the, uh, the, the um, blood oil and football save, click that subscribe button. Don't forget that we've also got that uh, magic Southampton fiction save, which is good. And there'll be some other saves up as well. Thank you again for joining me. Until next time, la starate.